to my channel Modern Modiste. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this bell sleeve dress. Okay, so I started with the pattern from my how to make a pattern tracing your clothes video. Be sure to check out that video since I made it as a starting point for tutorials like this one. This is how I altered that pattern. You can pause the video here to view it. This will also be on my blog at modernmodis.com. So I cut out one front, one neckline for the front. Two back pieces and the necklines for the back piece. For the sleeve, I would have made this bottom half wider for a more dramatic and wider sleeve, but I was short on fabrics. So measure this according to your preference. And two rectangles like this for the skirt portion of the dress. And two strips of fabric for the tie strings. Okay, so start by doing a single fold hem along the edge of your two bag pieces. Don't forget to backstitch. Then place these two right sides together and pin four to five inches down from the neckline and sew. Open your seam and sew each side down from bottom all the way to the neckline. This is how it looks once I've done that. Put the front and back together right sides facing and pin the shoulders. For this whole project, I start with a straight stitch and then follow with a zigzag stitch. Next is the sleeve. 
Sew a straight long stitch along the top of the rectangular bottom half of the sleeve. I back stitch one end of this but not the other, leaving a long enough thread so that um, I can pull the thread to gather this. Now pull the bottom or top thread of the end you didn't back stitch to gather. Make sure you gather the whole thing evenly. Lay your upper sleeve on top, right sides facing, lining up the edges, and pin. I sew that with a straight stitch and then again followed with a zigzag. Now turn the upper sleeve and top stitch, making sure the seam under is facing the top of the sleeve, so the shoulder of the sleeve. This is how both sleeves look finished. Open your top to attach the sleeve. Fold your sleeve in half to find a center and line up with the shoulder seam. Pin a sleeve to the rest of the armhole like this. Straight and zigzag stitch. Now I'm adding interfacing to the neck lining pieces. Cut the interfacing to clear the seam allowance to reduce bulk in the seam. Follow the instructions in the back of the pack. I didn't because I have no patience, but it'll come out better if you do. Now pin them together and sew. Then I followed with a zigzag stitch along the outer edge. Sew the two necktie strips by folding in the edges to the center, folding down one of the short sides and then folding that in half. Pin your necklining to the neckline of your dress, matching up the shoulder seams first. I cut triangles into the shoulder seams to reduce bulk and added snips along the entire neckline. Fold the lining in and pin. At the end, fold in the edge of the lining and pin your tie string in as well. Once that's done, pin the sides closed starting at the armpit. Then sew starting from the armpit, down the body, and then down the sleeve. Now for the skirt, lay your fabrics right sides together and sew. I started with a straight stitch and follow with a zigzag stitch. Once you do that, single hem the top edge of your skirt. Fold over the edge you hem to make a casing for the elastic, but remember to add half inch 
to your casing, to the top of your casing, to attach the skirt portion of the dress to the top. I forgot to add that extra half inch while I was pinning here, but I remembered while sewing. But make sure to leave an opening to feed the elastic through. I attach a safety pin to my elastic to help feed it through, then pin the two ends of the elastic together and sew. Sew down the seam flap so it sits flush in the fabric and sew the opening closed. This is optional, but I sewed a straight stitch down the center of the elastic, stretching the elastic as I went along and making sure the elastic stays out of the half inch seam allowance I added to the top to attach to the dress top. This is the result of that, I just think it's cute. Now attach the top of your dress to the skirt, right sides facing by lining up and pinning the side seams and the center front and back. You'll need to sew stretching the two fabrics from pen to pen so that they are lined up evenly. Then follow with a zigzag stitch. Hem the bottom of the dress by folding over the edge twice. and then hem the sleeve as well. This is how it looks once I've finished all of that. like the video subscribe uh, for more if you want your bells your sleeves to have a more dramatic flair to it use more fabric um, I was short on fabric I'm actually trying to use up a bunch of fabrics I bought last year so um, I was short on fabric and that's why uh, my sleeves are not as dramatic as I would have liked them to be I also used Two different fabrics for this project and luckily it turned out really cute um you can see for the back this is a completely different material than uh, what i used here but it turned out really cute i think i really like the contrast if you have any requests anything you want to see me make leave in the comment section below if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and as always, I have a blog post that will be a written tutorial of the same dress. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.